Well, welcome back. I'm going to be doing another um, painty paper. <laughs> no, no, just another one of my pa my pages, um, so I can play with it down the road. Um, this is um. This one's just going to be something I'm hoping pretty quick compared to the other one I just did. Oh, that wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> so I'm having fun. Um, this time I'm going to just kind of do, I'm working on texture. I'm just going to do some textures, do some um, plain. Um, and uh, I'm going to use a little more of my... Possibly my pins, not sure, 100% sure yet. But uh, here we go. I don't know why I shook that, because I've been shaking mix of these. You, you don't really need to uh, shake alcohol ink. Um, it's all mixed in the... That's what dissolved in the ink, in the alcohol, the pigments are. I've taped this down on all four sides because I'm hoping to have like a frame around this. And we're just going to kind of put some colors down here. And I'm going to start playing. No blowing on it this time, just playing. Mm. Maybe I'll get this open. Well, we're just going to use a different color then. Maybe we will. There we go. wonder where I got that red box. My goodness. These lids sometimes, there we go. <laughs> get on here and don't want to leave. And I'm just, I'm, I'm putting drops of color kind of different spots. I want to play. Let's use the paper towel on this one, see if I can get it to open. There we go. And I'm going to put a little more ink or alcohol down all over, so hopefully I can get it to stay moist. Green, yellow, orange. Let's do cranberry. And we're going to start playing. Because the next thing I'm going to do, maybe, maybe not, is, uh, sure, here we go. Use one of my fan brushes. And we're just going to play. Let it run. Got to be careful when I have a bowl or a cup of ink, ink laying sitting here that I don't dump it. So we're just going to kind of let it run. yellow down here. Now instead of I'm just going to blow on this. I'm not going to use um, I'm not using my air gun or air <laughs> yeah air airbrush. I'm not using my 
Um, and I'm picking up some of these colors and dripping them over here. So I'm just going to start playing. Don't know what, how it's going to turn out, but we're just going to play. And one of the things I'm going to do is get this a little wet. And I'm going to put a little wet. It's got just a little bit of alcohol on it is what I've got. I'm going to drop down here. We're just going to kind of let it let it do what it wants to do. Put some more blue on my brush here. This is just directly on that brush. i to get a little bit more alcohol here. I messed up again. That goes on that one. <laughs> I need to mark these. Keep forgetting that that's a good idea. Now then, let's To get most of the color out of that brush. Probably won't all of it won't come out. But I'll get a lot of it. See? You can't see. <laughs> can't see on either from either way. So let that dry a little more. Then I'm going to use um, my silver Krylon paint pen. It's been loaded up, and um, I'm going to use the, the the point here. And we're just going to kind of put some lines in here, kind of following what's already in here. You'll see what I'm going to do in a few minutes. Just a moment. This is just what I'm doing down here on this side. I found this found this out quite by accident. <laughs> and it was just a nice surprise. A nice accident. Because all I'm going to do now is reactivate this stuff. Right in all these areas. We're going to start playing some more with more texture. If I can get some more alcohol. This is starting to spread. I need to get another paper towel here. Actually, I can use this one that I was using before. And we're going to start dabbing and pulling it through.
didn't do exactly what it did the last time because the last time it left the metallic on. So I'll have to play again, see if I can replicate that. I like this area over here. This is kind of turned muddy brown, so we're going to just let it be. I am going to put some orange here. And I got the going from orange to the pink. Now, I'll put the lid on that before I dump the whole thing of alcohol over. I'm going to use Ranger Alcohol Blending Solution. We're just going to start playing here. Let's see what happens. Let it kind of begin to do its thing. find a brush. We're just going to start playing here. Now, we've added that. It's kind of blended it and lightened up the area. So next thing I'm going to do is actually I decide which, which color I want to use over here. Which one I'm going to either use? <laughs> See, I've <laughs> sprayed too hard with a uh, air gun at some point. When working with the mix eaves, um, let me see if I can find one that I haven't. Sh yeah, that's not real good. Where's the gold? Here we go. The gold really shows it. All the um, pigments, the things that make it gold, all settle to the bottom. And there's a mixing device that comes loose. It's like probably like a little marble, I'm not sure. But it, you shake that and it helps mix everything up. So... We're going to try to set how I'm going to drop this up in, in here. Ooh, I know what we're going to use. We're going to take a straw. Maybe I'm going to take a straw. You know the old fashioned trick of sticking the straw down in there and put your finger over it and to hold, pull some out? That's what we're going to do. Ooh, that was a lot. Didn't mean to get that much. That wasn't so good of an idea. But we're going to make, make it work. Why did I stick that back in there? I do not know other than I'll drop some more over here. 
And the thing that's cool about mixatives is when you add things to it, I don't know if you can possibly see it dances. And I've not worked with pinata silver. To know quite how it reacts fully. But it looks like it's going fun because this is reactivated in here. And I'm actually I'm going to put a little more of this on here. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to start. Oh, that's cool. It starts running this way. Um, <clears throat> wish I hadn't used my straw. Got some more somewhere, just don't know where. Here, this is going to do for now. As I lose my breath. Um, <laughs> this, I don't even know what exactly this goes on top of. Um, this was a, came with a, some one of my squeeze bottle things. <laughs> it has this long tube. Now, that's all I can blow. <laughs> that's why I do not blow through the tubes. It's like, oh! <gasps> so we're going to add some. i got to find something to block the ink from getting over there. I don't want it to go this side. So we're going to put it like this. And I'm going to play, as I've not played really pretty much with this the silver mixative. It dried on that pen that Oh, that's actually cool. <laughs> that turned out cool. So we're going to take up the tape, pick this up so you guys can get to see it, put my inks away so they don't get dumped over because uh, it's pick the table or the stuff up. I'm sure it's going to shift. Put the lid back on the silver so that big old bottle of silver doesn't get dumped. See, you can make a pre really pretty straight edge around a, a paper with this was washi tape. Washi was wasabi, whatever this tape's called. I can't, I can't remember how you say it. It's um, washi tape, I was right. So I'm a little slow with the uptake on. what I'm saying here. There we go. And one more section. Probably be about the last alcohol ink I do tonight because I've got another project I'm gonna, I need to get started on. Oh, it got, it washed underneath the tape over here, the blue, but that's okay. If I had a fresh paper, I think it probably would have been better off. Yeah, because the alcohol just had washed here. But look at that. Can you see?
that's cool. Now I'm gonna turn it this way because I'm going to do some other things here. Because I'm, oh, the gold, I haven't loaded the gold up. Let's then use copper. We're gonna use copper. Make sure it's loaded. And we're just going to put little dots. Got to remember I've got a camera overhead. I've also got two two camera angles now that I'm trying to, we'll see how well I do. I may go just go back to one until I get a different even setup that I've got. Yeah, I'm getting my head in the way. That's better on the one overhead, not the one in front of me. Just put little dots. Like I said, these are going to be things I add to uh, multimedia pieces. And we're going to do little ones in this guy. So, then, like I said, totally different effect. That's cool. See? Okay. Till the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please click thumbs up. If you want to see more of my fun playing, you can click subscribe, and if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video, you can click the bell that will appear once you have clicked subscribe. And again, thank you to everyone that has watched this, and have a great and joyous time until the next video.